Welcome back to part two everyone. Um, let me show you how we're getting on. We have part one finished, the sky. Let's see how we're getting on with this. Right, here we are. Beautiful sky done with a palette knife. Um, if you haven't watched part one, I would strongly recommend you just have a quick look because it was great fun. I just basically filled in all of this blue with a brush, okay? And we then did all these lovely clothes with a palette knife. It was so much fun. And it's a really lovely, you can see the way that kind of flicks out there, it's really nice, isn't it? So we did all this with a palette knife. Part two is the sailboat. Let me show you the reference photograph I have here. This is what I'm painting from. So we're going to finish this and have a lot of fun. Okay. Palette is still the same. I kept my colours all there. Everything is still wet. I have turpentine, um, some tissue and palette knives, etc, etc, lots of brushes. So, here we go my friends, let's finish this, I'll be right back. Right, let's go, let's have a bit of fun with this. Um, there's a reference photograph again, beautiful photograph, um, hope you can see everything okay, I think you can. I'm going to peel off the masking tape. There we go. Lovely clean line, look at that. And I'm not sure if this is completely horizontal, but we're going to be softening our ocean into this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's start with the ocean. I'm going to fill in all of this ocean and we leave the good stuff to last, those sailboats, okay? I'm going to dampen my brush again. The very same brush look with the same paint on it. I finished part one yesterday, so this is all still wet. Um, I still have all my same colors. Everything is exactly the same. So I'm going to dampen my brush and I'm going to give this a nice undercoat now in underpainting. Let me just clean this brush because there's a very dirty greys on this brush, a little bit of black. So I'm going to take some white, titanium white, and I have a good bit of turpentine in this now again, okay? A good bit of thinners, just to make it nice and creamy. That's what I'm, that's what I'm aiming for, a nice creamy consistency. Some titanium white. I'm going to take cerulean blue. Because that's a wonderful turquoise kind of an ocean, isn't it? And I'll take a hint of cobalt. Just so it's not kind of really greeny, alright? Let's mix that up. Let's put this across. Let's have a look. Okay, maybe a touch more cobalt. Perhaps a hint of phthalo. A hint. Now, I'm going to lean down hard and go right across this horizon line here, okay? If you have shaky hands, it's much easier when you lean down really hard on the brush. And as time goes on, my hands seem to be getting a little bit more on the shaky side, which is quite scary for painting. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's go again. I'm going to kind of soften this now into the sky colour, okay? So I'm going to go up into the sky just slightly. I'm going to go again. Because you can have a hard line if you like, but I, there's a kind of a misty feeling in the sky which I really like. So I'm going to go back over that now again. I'm going to go right up in. Look. And it just breaks, it kind of breaks that solid line. That's all it does. Let's try that again. You see? That's not bad, though, is it? And I picked up a little bit of that darker colour, and that's fine. Absolutely fine. Okay, let's crack on now and fill all of this in all the way down. More thinners. Titanium white. Cerulean blue. Beautiful colour, a little bit of phthalo, so some of those, and a tiny touch of crimson, I think, just to warm it slightly. And these are wonderful ocean colours. I 
And by the way, I didn't oil my bottom half. I did put some linseed oil on the top half of the sky, just all of this area, um, to keep it nice and wet. I'm not doing this really because we're going to be putting lots of different shades of colour through this. So it doesn't matter if it's starting to dry in slightly in some parts. Um, because we're going to be putting lots of different colours over this anyway. Phthalo, Cerulean. If you feel this a little bit bright, take a bit of phthalo blue and a little crimson. A bit of cobalt. Pop that through. And you can hear the canvas bouncing back and forward, that's lovely. It's a wonderful feeling. Now as it comes down, I'm going to start darkening this a bit, okay? So some uh, cerulean blue, some phthalo blue, and a little crimson. And I do keep adding crimson to this because it just warms the colour wonderfully. I'm just scraping this across the canvas now. I'm putting a thin coat on, okay? It's not very, very thick. I just want to cover the canvas, that's all. If you start putting lots of thick paint on very soon and very early in the painting, it becomes quite difficult to control your mixing on the canvas. So it's easier to start off with um, thin, thin layers, if you understand what I mean. So now we have basic colours put in. It's a nice basic background, isn't it? Okay. Um, now, I'm going to start just kind of darkening it slightly here and there. So, if you can see kind of with the waves there, it, kind of, it seems to get a little bit darker up here. I'm going to darken it slightly up higher, just here and there, okay? Cerulean and phthalo. And a little hint of crimson. And let me see now, I'm just going to kind of flick it through here and there. And we may kind of switch to perhaps a slightly smaller brush in a moment, but a lot of this is going to be covered with foam and all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to be too particular with all of this. I've just added a touch of black into that here and there. I'm just kind of picking out the darker points where the waves are sort of crashing over. A little bit of black, a little bit of phthalo blue again. Little touch of crimson, touch of cerulean, okay? And just popping that in here and there. In fact, let's take a bit of cobalt as well. I'm going to pull that kind of down and out, you see? Down and out, down and out, kind of at a slight angle. Now, I'm going to put that brush down, and I think I'll move to a slightly smaller brush. Before I do anything, what I want to do is take a very soft blender brush, okay? And I'm just going to go across the horizon line with this. I just want to kind of soften that in, make it lovely and misty, okay? It's not a completely harsh line all the way across. That will do. Okay, I'm going to move to another smaller brush, and I have one here. It's a little flat brush, all right, a nice little flat brush. I'm going to just start adding a couple of darks with this. Some phthalo blue, some black, and a little crimson, okay? Uh, in fact, we'll take a hint of cobalt as well. Just to make a little, little, little touch of that. And up here, you can see there's a nice dark where the water turns. Maybe a touch more phthalo on this. And I'm going to pull that out, soften it upwards like that, okay? So lots of wonderful colour in this. And then it kind of comes across. I've added more cerulean 
and cobalt into the mix. I just want to kind of catch the dark side of that wave breaking up there. Pull that down and then flick it outwards, okay? Just kind of horizontal, bring it down and flick it across. You can be very, very loose with this now as well. And you could even do this with the palette knife as well, if you like. I might still get my palette knife and do a lot of this. I'm going to add some nice darker shades up there. Just to give it the feeling of a rough ocean kind of a feel, okay? So just darks going through the water here and there. I'm just simply flicking it left to right. So we can probably now go to our palette knife and start putting in some nice white spray here and there. Yes? I mean, we have the basic kind of outlay of the water in. So I think let's get a palette knife and start putting some nice spray into this. Um, palette knives. We have a choice. We have a choice. Which one should we use? Which one? Which one? I think I will try this one first, okay, with the sharp edge. I'm going to take some cerulean blue and lots of white. I don't want it pure, pure white. I just want a hint of that cerulean in the colour. Because I want to keep my really bright whites until the very end. All right. So let's say across here. Okay, let's go across the top of that. And then start pulling over, following the crest. Okay, see the way the wave is kind of turning over. I'm pulling it down. And it gets very sort of rough around here, doesn't it? I'm just going to swirl it around in little circles. Then we have a lovely one, which comes around here, and then it goes sort of upwards, doesn't it? Upwards and out of the painting. And you can just kind of take your time now with all of this. There's no, there's no real rush. You don't have to be absolutely perfect with all of this. Um, off in the distance, I'm going to put a suggestion of one or two just kind of breaking off in the distance there okay it's really just to roughen up the canvas more so than anything else and just to give the impression of very very distant waves breaking because it's a very rough ocean okay we're out on the ocean it's very rough very kind of stormy so just with the edge of your knife going across in horizontal lines just giving the impression of some waves tumbling around off there up in the distance you see? You see how easy that was? It just very, very quick with a palette knife. We're already getting a lovely effect, aren't we? Now I'm going to go to this palette knife for a change. I'm going to take some white, cerulean blue. Mix that together. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just really, I really want to make an impact with this wave over here. You see, I really want to drag it up and out. So the boat, in essence, is kind of hitting the wave and is pushing it right out. Isn't that lovely? It's amazing what you can do just with a simple palette knife. And you can, if you're kind of nervous about going on your canvas with all of this paint you can just kind of keep it simple if you like um you know you don't have to go to all this extreme but just try it just give it a try you won't know really until you try that's what i find with painting um you know i've often done paintings where i would be quite reserved and i would hold back slightly 
just because I'm afraid in case I ruin what I have. But when you do it, then it's a great satisfaction. It's a great relief because you think to yourself, well, you know, it was easier than I expected. Understand? It was much easier than I thought it would be. Now, a little bit of white up there just to really catch the highlight of that. And that's a nice effect, isn't it? Pushing the spray up into the sky. I really like that. That's very nice. Okay, let's move on down. I'm going to keep to this palette knife for a while. I'm going to take a hint of cerulean again and a hint of cobalt. Um, I'm just staying away from bright whites just for now. Just for now. Because we can quite easily go over all of this with bright white if we want to later on. But it's going to be much more difficult to tone it down if we go too bright early on. So let's just take some of this now. And lots of ruffled kind of waves and stuff like that down here. So I'm just basically dragging the knife across. Giving it a bit of a wiggle here and there. And it's just simply creating lots of texture on the ocean. That's all. And create another nice little impression of a wave turning over here. Isn't this now just a nice, simple, fun, landscape painting so it's coming together is it coming together nicely i think it is i'm happy enough with this um you know you can be really really particular and really fussy with stuff like this i find if you just go for it and have a bit of fun it does actually work out better um you know i've done landscapes and seascapes in the past where i might be with a tiny little brush you know just like this doing lots of little things like that, you know. It, and you become absorbed into the painting and you sort of lose sight of what you're supposed to be doing, which is just having fun. Um, so I just thought as an exercise with the palette knife, it would be nice for a change. I'll create a nice little wave tumbling here. We'll put lots of little darks in under these waves as well, okay? So don't worry about that. And let's just catch some light over on the top of this one. Giving it a little bit of an angle there, just to make to help it sort of swoop downwards and out. Just give some kind of nice interesting shapes, that's all. Now, pick up some of the dark colour. And I'll put a little bit of dark colour in here and there. Okay, I'm going to sit back for a moment, have a look how we're getting on, and then I'm going to start with my smaller brush. I am going to take a nice small little flat brush. All right, uh, let me find one here now. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, a nice little one here. Small synthetic flat brush. I'm going to go for some nice dark colours now. Thalo blue, cerulean blue, and a hint of black, okay? And I'm just simply going to put some darks in under some of those waves. Just to help give us a bit of contrast. So here, for example, like that. I'm going to pull it down. I'm curling it down at an angle, and then I'm going to leave it straight out, okay? I'll put a little bit under this one here. 
and it's really just to give some depth to the waves okay you see what I mean just to help bring them to life just a little because those darks will really help and when you put in these darks it really brightens the whites of the waves as well it makes them appear brighter let's take a bit more black a little bit more phthalo and let's put another little darker piece in under here okay not a nice one over here I'm going to bring that across like that. Go up here just a hint. And you don't have to do all of this if you feel, you know, if you're not confident to do this type of section of the wave. You can just leave it white if you like. It's perfectly fine. But I just like to add a little bit of darkness into some of them. No, that's that one. And I'm going to take some cobalt blue with phthalo blue. And I'm going to come down here, give this some nice rich color as well. And I'll go under here also. Phthalo blue with a little black. Go in under here. Bring it out. So you can kind of get the idea. I'm just kind of picking out some of the dark spots on some of the waves. I'm going to take a little black and a little cobalt blue and I'm going to just go over here and just put a nice dark section in just under that where that's breaking like that and i'm going to put a nice dark in just here as well and even come up here and pop one or two here and there as well okay now i don't want to over do all of this if you understand what i mean i don't want to go crazy with all of this so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'll move to my smaller palette knife i'm going to take some cerulean blue a little cobalt and i think just with that color i'm going to come down and i'm going to pop with the knife some of that in just here and there okay just to give it an extra little touch of texture because we are after all using a palette knife for most of the painting so i think it will help with the feeling of the painting to do some of this with the palette knife as well and i'm going to come down here and just kind of turn some of that color around okay and that will help give us some direction also with the waves some cobalt just here and there and i might pop a little just here and there
around the center just to kind of break it up a little there okay that's not bad that's coming on nicely now we will come back to this with the palette knife later on i just want to crack on and i want to get this lovely boat in these wonderful boats um so let me start with i suppose a small pointy brush and i'm going to do this one here with a nice dark side on it that's basically some black and phthalo blue okay keeping with the blue theme of the painting okay so plenty of turpentine phthalo blue and some black uh, now i'm wondering do you want me to zoom in for this or should i leave it as it is i suppose i leave it so you can see me doing the sail then as well let's go up here and i'm just going to go around here then it comes across and it kind of turns downward slightly it goes almost disappears into the ocean doesn't it let's fill this in Now, again, I want to look at the scale. I want, I don't want it to be too small. I want it to kind of stand out as well. Okay. And then I'm going to take some phthalo blue and some cobalt blue and do the light side with this. And it's basically the same. And look don't try and get this perfect okay it's not it's never going to, i mean i'll never get it perfect because i'm going to be putting little bits of spray in around all of this so don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect all right and i'm going to take a little tiny bit of white to tip of my brush and just kind of suggest there's a little bit of writing on this suggest a little bit of writing just here and there now also, with some fine white on the tip of your brush, I'm going to put a line across here. And a little one up here. It's just to suggest the outside edge of the boat. And I suppose I'll take a little bit of the darker colour, the darker blue with some turquoise and just give a shadow on this side of the ocean okay and i'm even going into the black as well look and that's kind of sitting it down then in the water isn't it Does that makes sense and then with some white on your brush let's go over here and Give some nice white foam breaking on this side, just with some white. And perhaps a tiny amount here as well. So now it's kind of sitting in the water, isn't it? Let's go and do the top. Now I'm going, to, I'm going to zoom in slightly because I have a feeling you're struggling to see what I'm doing here. So there we go. Is that better? Let's do the cabin. And it's just very, very simple. Just a simple square. Okay. And then a couple of windows like that. 
all right you could suggest little bits and pieces here and there let's put in the windows they're quite dark i might take a hint of crimson naples yellow in this just so it's not pure pure black fill those in just very loosely okay it's just an impression and perhaps a hint of black then just here and there and also touch of black here and there on some of these highlights it's just to give the impression of little things going on around the boat a little bit of Naples yellow as well look that'll just add more interest into the painting you see it just adds a little bit of interest well, I just want to fix the back side of that boat. I want to bring a splash of a wave up there. Just to help that kind of disappear into the water a little bit better. That's fine. And a little bit across here. There we go. Now, I'm still, I'm looking at the scale. I just want to get the scale right um, for the size of the painting. Because it's quite a large painting. Okay, that's probably a little bit better. And then I'm going to put in this one over here, uh, very simply, with some Naples yellow and some white, okay? This one is kind of an off, not a pure white, it's more of an off white. So let's just go and say, around here, And you could even use the palette knife for this as well. Let's get the palette knife. Let's take our sharp palette knife. And I'm going to go for the tip of the palette knife this time, okay? And let's just put this boat in like so. There. It's okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. And again, a little bit of a cabin on top. And I'm then just going to take some of the darker blue and sit that down with some of the darker blue. Okay? It's just a little impression, that's all. Or you could add some shade, a little bit of shade to this, if you want. It would be difficult to do this with the palette knife anyway, so just use your pointy brush, that's absolutely fine. Let's move on to this big sail. We have a very big sail coming up here, don't we? I'm going to use my sharp palette knife for this, okay? And I'm simply going to take, just pull some white out. Okay, and get a nice roll of white on the edge of your palette knife. Okay, and let's just go from the center and go straight up. It doesn't matter if there's a slight bend on this, that's absolutely fine. Okay, like so. And then it kind of comes down like this and it turns, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to use the other side of my palette knife to go this way, okay? Isn't that lovely? Let's go a little bit higher. And we just keep going, filling this in. Or 
I'll take a hint of Naples yellow in this just to brighten this side of the sail here and you may find that it's because it's mixing with the colour underneath you may have to go over this just once or twice but you can look it's very simple if you're not confident with the palette knife for this you can use a brush by the way I just find a palette knife gives lovely coverage okay and i'm going to go along the back side here i'm going to widen it slightly and i'll just take my pointy brush and i want to finish this with my pointy brush just to give me a bit more accuracy on the back here okay so i'm going to go over like this and i'm going to turn this a little bit more like that yes i'm going to take a little bit of the black that blacky gray color we have and put that on this side here because there's a little bit of shade catching this side of the sail over here isn't there just a hint And I'll even soften it in nice and gently with my brush. And then even a bit more darker colour just down the back here, okay? Now I'm going to take a little Naples yellow with some crimson and I'm going to just pop that around the centre. Soften it through. It just gives a nice transition. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is take my large palette knife again. Now let's just take a look and see, do I think the sail is big enough? I'm not quite sure if the sail is big enough. Does it have that much of an impact? I might go up a little bit more with the sail. How about there? Then we can come out a bit more with this side here. See, that's probably even a bit better, isn't it? I think it needs to go out a bit more here as well. So let's bring it. Like that. I think that's a little bit better, isn't it? And I must get some white for my palette. My white is almost gone and i'm going to then start taking little bits of naples yellow just to give this white a real punch okay so i'll clean my palette knife take a little naples yellow lots of white and this should really give the white a bit of a kick okay let's try this Now, you see I made a little mistake there, yeah? Let's fix it. 
let's just put some little wires and stuff down here. Let's imagine there's a few wires. I'm just get a nice little point on the corner of my palette knife. Let's imagine there's a couple of wires. Okay, see? That solved it. And let's bring one out like that, and then down, like so. Simply done. And we'll bring a, a small couple across, just to suggest the little bits of bracing, that kind of thing. And we put a little dot up on top, just like so. Perhaps, tiny suggestion of a piece, like that. And that's really all you have to do. It's completely fine. I'm going to just continue to brighten just like that. And I'm then going to just add a few little dabs, my palette knife, just here and there. Next we have this one over here, and this is a lovely one. This has a bit of Naples yellow. I'm going to add a touch of crimson in there because I like to just warm it slightly, and a bit of white, okay? And let's go and put this one in. There's our center line, and let's bring this out. And if, again, if you're a bit iffy with the palette knife, you can just use a brush. Let's just finish off the fine lines with a brush, okay? Perhaps take a bit of white. Add a little bit of white to this side. And it's nice that it's picking up the colours from the background. That just adds a little more interest into the painting. It doesn't have to be pure, pure white all the time. And let's just add a little bit of darkness just here and there. Just to add a little bit of interest into the painting again, that's all. And I'm going to just put a little slither of white here and there on the board. Just to brighten it up. Okay. Then we add a couple of wires with the tiniest bit of paint on our palette knife. Okay, just like that. So how is that, my friends? Let's take a bit of Naples yellow, a little bit of crimson, and I'm just going to add a touch of warm colour. the sail okay just for a bit of variety that's all now i'm going to move on down so i'm just going to leave it like that for now we can always come back to this i am going to come down and just add a little bit more to those waves okay i'm going to take some pure bright white let's get some bright white and let's start over here let's just add a little bit of bright white here and there to some of those waves just to help them jump out a little bit more And I'm going to bring this one right the way down. And for me now, this is just all about creating lots of texture on the canvas. 
okay that's all i'm kind of focusing on really getting lots of lovely texture And I'll add a little bit there. See, just really go to town with it. Just have a bit of fun. Sure, if we're not having fun with a painting, there's no point. Let's go down and add a bit more down here. In fact, I will add a little touch of it just here and there up by that board. And let's come down and let's put some nice highlights. There, just here and there. So pure white now, yes? Nice bright white. Just allowing the canvas to kind of drag it off here and there, okay? This is a painting that you can really just have a bit of fun with and just, you know, forget about your brush techniques and all that kind of stuff. Just really go to town, have a bit of fun. Let loose. And put a little bit just across the top of this. So we're creating a nice, nice painting. Lots of thick white paint here and there. Look at that, that lovely. Okay, let's, let's have a look and see what we're doing. I'll take more white, I'll just clean my palette knife now, make it nice and clean. I'm going to just take more white, and I'm going to just really emphasize this splash here, okay? I really want to bring that out. Look at that, lovely, thick paint, going right off up there. Beautiful. I'm very happy with that and I might add a little bit of spray perhaps just around here as well just to kind of balance it out slightly so as to not have it all on one side of the painting so just to balance out the left side of the painting a little bit of spray there just like that Okay, then I'm thinking, hmm, so what I will do actually, I'll take a bit of white and I'll just redefine the tops of this just a little bit more. Okay, and I might take some of the darker color as well. And I might just go in under some of this some darks as well and let's throw a couple of seagulls in here shall we now let me zoom back show you what we've done okay just went along here with some white just here and there And I'm going to pop just a couple of simple seagulls in. Uh, let's go, I'm thinking up on the left. So I'm just going to pop a few simple ones in. Like that. 
and nice seagulls following the boats out to sea. And I think one more. Uh, I won't go in the centre, perhaps just up here. Like that. Then take a little black. I like to just paint simple little seagulls like this without going into too much detail. See? Just a couple of brush strokes, that's all. Nice and simple. And with that, my friends, I think I'm going to sign. I should by right really have a kind of a marker or something like this when it's dry. But um, this is just a habit. I have a habit of doing this when the paint is wet. No, no way. It's something I've always done since I was very young. S. Conway. And there you have it, my friends. A lovely, simple seascape finished. Let me just zoom in here now with the camera and show you up close. Hope you can see what we've done. I just kept it nice and simple. Couple of marks with the pointy brush here and there, just to sit the boat down. Nice bright sails. Couple of simple seagulls. And there we go, my friends. A nice simple seascape finished. I must say that was so much fun. Let me just turn the camera here now so you can see me again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to let that dry. And what I might do then is paint around the sides of the canvas. I should have done it when it was wet, really. I still can. But I think I'll just leave it dry. Then just go around the edge of the canvas um, with some nice blue. Just add a bit of white in here and there for the waves. That's all. So you can leave it as it is if you like. I, I do hope you try it, see how you get on, and show me how you're getting on. Just send any pictures you have to stephenconway12 at gmail.com. Um, if you do wish to support me, which I sincerely appreciate, you can pop over to Patreon. The link should be there somewhere. And uh, just click on the link and uh, join up. Very, very small pledge. And you can get lots and lots more tutorials um, on lots of in-depth techniques for oil painting. So there we go. I'm very happy with that. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't done so and click the bell. Because if you, don't, if you don't click the bell, you won't get notified every week. So we'll have tutorials almost on a weekly basis. Next week I have a tutorial coming for patrons. So my friends, don't go anywhere. I will see you very soon and happy painting. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.